Welcome to Linear Algebra 1. My name is Professor Y, and I will be helping you on this beautiful journey through linear algebra. So to get us started, we are exploring systems of linear equations and developing a systematic procedure for solving and understanding these systems. So what is a linear system? Well, before we can get to the system, we've got to understand what's a linear equation. So a linear equation in variables x sub 1 through x sub n is simply an equation of the following form. We have a sub 1 times x sub 1 plus a sub 2 times x sub 2. And we continue with this method all the way up to a sub n times x sub n. And this will be equal to some b. So this is a standard linear equation, and we're familiar with these. We've been working with these in calculus and in pre-calculus. So here, let's make a couple of little love notes to ourselves. The set of all of these a values, a sub 1 all the way to a sub n, are the coefficients of the variables. Those constants in front of each variable. B is our constant term. That is the right-hand side of your equation. Now, I want to make a little love note here that these coefficients and constants can be both real or complex. So they can be real numbers or complex numbers. Now, for the sake of this course, we are going to restrict ourselves to the real numbers. And then as you proceed into linear 2, that's when we are introduced to the complex numbers. And last but not least, we have n, which simply represents the subscript. So this is the last variable in your linear equation. And n is restricted to the positive integers, meaning that n is a counting number greater than 0. So these linear equations are going to make up a linear system. So now that we have refreshed our memories on linear equations and what their components mean, we're ready to define a system of linear equations. So we say that a system of linear equations, or simply a linear system, is a collection of one or more linear equations involving the same variables. So let's think about a quick example here in R2. So a linear system might be defined as follows a sub 1 times x sub 1 plus a sub 2 times x sub 2 is equal to constant b. And our second equation will be defined as a sub 3 times x sub 1 plus a sub 4 times x sub 2 is equal to a constant c. So we can see here all of our coefficients a sub 1 through a sub 4 and our two constants b and c. And notice our variables are all the same. We have x sub 1, and then we have x sub 2, which we can make a little love note to ourselves since we're in two dimensions. That in linear algebra, when we talk about x sub 2, this is equivalent to our y variable from calculus. Now, there are two types of linear systems that we need to be mindful of and on the lookout for. The first type is a consistent system. So we say that a linear system is consistent if at least one solution exists. So notice here, this is if at least one solution exists. So this implies there could be one solution or infinitely many solutions. And we'll talk about each case in a little more detail momentarily. The second type of system I want you to be on the lookout for is an inconsistent system. So if a consistent system has at least one solution, an inconsistent system has no solutions. 